Hi there, I'll be showing you how to simulate the Kirchhoff's current law, KCL, with multi-SIM. Right? So before we start simulating, uh, let's go through a little bit of the theory side on the Kirchhoff's current law, and then on the calculated side, and a little bit on the simulation values that we have that I have obtained. Right? So over here we have uh, the theory side. So we know that the sum of current entering the node right is equivalent to the sum exiting the node right so therefore we can say that the input current is equivalent to the output current right therefore we can say that i total is equals to i1 plus i2 plus i3 where you can see in this circuit diagram over here this is the total current going into this node and it's exiting into i1 i2 and actually i3 right so therefore, that's why I said that I total is equivalent to I1 plus I2 plus I3, right? So this is the circuit diagram that we're using to simulate as well, right? So there are three resistors, as you can see, R1, R2, and R3, where R1 is 1K, R2 is 2 kilo ohms, and R3 is 3 kilo ohms. Now the power supply will vary from 0 to 30 volts, right? And there'll be a ground here, right? And multimeter as well. The multimeter is just going to be M meters only, right, for this particular KCL experiment, right? Now, the total resistance. Now, since this is a parallel circuit, right, it's connected parallel. Therefore, the formula is given as 1 over R total equals to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3. And you can see that uh, after calculating, we obtain the R total value to be 0 0.545, right, kilo ohms. Now, in the calculated section, right, uh, we, what we'll be doing is that we'll be finding the total current and then from there we'll be finding I1, I2, and I3, right? So over here you can see that when we uh, have uh, the voltage supply fixed as 5 volts, right? So based on the formula, right, the most uh, famous formula V equals to IR, right? So we'll be finding the supplied current right supply current to be what voltage supply divided by r total so it's 5 volts divided by this you get 9.174 milliamps right now there are two approaches in order to find i1 i2 and i3 right one is you can just use the basic understanding of the v equals to r formula where we already know that the i1 right is equals to Vs over R1, where we know, right, that Vs is the same. The voltage across I1 is the same as the voltage supply, right, because they are parallel to each other. So the voltage over here is the same, over here is the same over here, which is the same as the voltage supply to the circuit, right? So if it's zero volts here, so it's zero volts here, zero volts here, and here, because it's a parallel circuit, yes? So Right now, this is one side of the formula where it uses I1 equals to Vs over R1, where Vs is the voltage supply, so it's 5 volts, right? Divided by the resistance, 1K, you get 5 milliamps. Same thing as well, when you're defined for I2, you substitute it and change it to R2, and you get 5 divided by 2, you get 2.5. And for I3, same as well, 5 divided by 3K for R3, right? So you get 1.667 milliamps. And when you add up the total, you will get 9.167 milliamps. It is not the same as the, uh, yeah, sorry about this. It is not the same as the IS, right? As I said in my previous video, this is due to the calculations of fractions, right? When we take 5 divided by 3, that, uh, there is more than just 1.66666. It's keep on how to say, like going towards a very long, uh, how to say, point, right? So we could not really obtain a more accurate answer. So we'll just keep it to three decimal points and we have obtained this, right? So the another approach is using the formula of Ix equals to R total over Rx times Is, where I've actually substituted my uh, x here to be the the current that we are looking for, right? So it's going to be I1 
equals to R total divided by R1 times the supplied current, right? So substitute the values and you obtain 5 milliamps, right? Same goes for the other two currents for I2 and I3. As you can see, when substituted, I have obtained similar values as what I have obtained over here, right? So when you add up also, you get back the same I total value as well, okay? Now that is for 5 volts, right, on the calculated side. Now uh, I've gone for 30 volts once again. So 30 volts, you can see that 30 divided by 0.545, I obtained 55.046 milliamps, all right? So over here also, when we take, uh, I'll be using the basic uh, understanding, right, which is the left side over here, where I just use the V equals to IR formula. So Vs is 30 volts, right, since we have set it as 30, divided by 1K, so I'll get 30 milliamps, right? For I2, it's 30 divided by 2, I get 15. And I3, it's 30 divided by 3, I get 10 milliamps. So when I add them up, I obtain 55 milliamps, right? So you can see there are just like a few difference only, right? Now, over here, the I total I'm getting is different from here, as I said, right? When you take, when you try to find the total resistance, right, it's not 0 0.545 kilo ohms exactly. It's going, so, uh, how to say, it's ongoing, like 545454554. 4, 5, 4, 5, 4. It keeps on going. So when we shrunk the value, this is what would happen. You do not get a very specific value after that, right? So indirectly, we can say actually the calculated value is equivalent to the simulated value later on, right? Yeah, so I have tabulated the calculated values in the table here. So as per what uh, that was shown in the Ohm's law and Kirchhoff's voltage law video, 10 to 25 volts, do try it out yourself to test, right? your understanding, okay? And then you can cross-check it with the simulation. So the simulation over here, once again, I have simulated all the values from zero to 30 volts, right? So you can see I have uh, done the additions and so, and everything is equivalent to the right side, right? The current supply is equivalent to the total current, right, in the simulation side, okay? But for the calculator here, that is the difference, right? Same goes over here. So let's go into the simulation of Kirchhoff's current law, right? So launch your multi-sim and let's bring in the components. So control W, change to basic resistors, 1K, close it, right? Copy, paste, copy, paste. This change to two, and this change to three. Now you can highlight it one by one, or you can one shot all you highlight it, and you press Control R to rotate, right? So you can see it is rotated now. And then now I want to include a source. So let me include a source as well. So again, a DC source, so check on power source, right? And uh, we need, yes, we need a ground, right? So let's just try with this ground, right? Shouldn't be an issue. So now let's perform the connections. So we we'll start again with zero. Put the ground there, and yeah, we need mul uh, emitters, right? So emitters. Okay. So remove the middle part. Double click 
change it to M's, right? So now we can copy this since all of it is emitted. So copy, paste. Now you see this is like in a ghost mode, right? Before you left click it and just drop it like this. So don't do that. Delete this. Copy it again and you see control V, right? Keep this in the ghost mode and control R, right? So you see it's rotated and you can easily place it right here. Same goes, control V, control R, and drop it, remove that. Control V, control R, drop it, and remove the middle part again, right? So you can double click it, and you can see your emitter readings. Right? So run that. So everything is zero. Right, because there is no voltage. So no voltage supplied, nothing is there, right? No current, no voltage. Stop, change it now to what else, what values do we want to go? Okay, five volts. Right, so you see, 12.5 milliamps, five milliamps, 2.5 and five, right? Okay, I think there is some issue. Let me just see. Okay, yeah, I can see, oh, yeah. So my bad, sorry, my resistor here, you see, it's 1K, so I'm getting the same current over here. So I just need to change this to three, right? Sorry for overlooking that. So now let's see, and there we go. 9.167, five milliamps, 2.5, and 1.667. So, right, five, 2.5, and 1.667. And my total is 9.167, right? So it is correct, right? It is similar to what we have obtained over here, right? But in this side, right? But yeah, it's the same thing, okay? That now, stop this. Now change it to 30 volts, right? So run again, and yep, we have obtained 55, 30, 15, and 10. Right, so you can see over here, 55, 30, 15, and 10, right? And this one, this one was the calculated, this is the simulator, so you can see, 55, 30, 15, and 10, right? So yes, we are done with Kirchhoff's current law, right? Do check out the Kirchhoff's uh, voltage law and Ohm's law as well, okay? Thank you.